In today's video, we're looking at a brand new robotic lawnmower called Luba. Now this isn't just a typical robot. This one is an all-wheel drive, wire-free mower. This thing should be able to handle any kind of slope you'd have at home. It's also got another unusual feature. Most robotic mowers have cutting decks that vary from seven to about 11 inches wide. This Luba uses two individual cutting discs, allowing it to cut 16 inches at a time. Now when you look at the outside of this thing, it definitely has a cool design. Looks kind of like a race car, but this bump on the front isn't just for looks. It's got a series of sensors in it. So unlike those robots from the old days, it doesn't just have to smack into something. The radar can pick up an object in front of it so that it never even makes contact. This is the feature I'm the most interested in, the all-wheel drive system. Now the way this is set up, there are two rubber tires on the back. These things are super well made, but the front wheels are different. These are called omnidirectional wheels, and each rim has two sets of them. That means they can go forward and supposedly sideways without doing any damage to the turf. It's even got these small shock absorbers. This should help keep the mowing deck level, regardless of what is happening with the wheels. And these two gold dots on the top are a rain sensor, so this thing will not mow the lawn during a rainstorm if you choose that option. On the back of the mower is where it will plug into the base for charging. That's what those two gold contacts are for. But to operate this thing at all requires the safety key. You just insert it in the back, and at this point, you've electrically connected the mower so that it can turn on. And as we flip the robot over, you can see the dual cutting decks. Now these things are razor sharp and you'll notice they spin around, but that's by design. If you hit something hard like a rock or a branch, they're designed to just fold back. This way the mowing deck won't be destroyed, you won't ruin the blade. Now all of this is powered by a battery inside the mower that's capable of mowing your lawn for up to three hours. But now let's put this thing to the test, and the first and most important item they include is this satellite receiver. This does two different things. It speaks to satellites in the sky the same way your GPS does in your car, but then it communicates that to the mower. That's how the mower will know exactly where it is in your yard, down to just one centimeter of precision. Start by putting this receiver on top of the included pole, and you can just stick it in the ground, or you can actually attach it to the base that they provide but it's critical that this receiver has a clear view of the sky. Now this is really gonna be a test because I've got trees all over my yard. What's unique about this Luba receiver is that it can be mounted separately away from the base. That will give you a lot of options. You could put this thing all the way up on the roof of your house and that will give it a perfect signal. It's just three connections. You're gonna plug the electric cord into a regular household outlet, this receiver plugs into the base, and the last thing you've got to do is just put the mower into the charging base itself. You also need to get the app. You can get it for iOS or Android, and it'll actually walk you through all of these steps. I kind of jumped the gun and set up the hardware first, but once you get into the app and log in, you'll be able to connect to your mower via Bluetooth. But now, of course, I want to see this thing mow, and to do that, I've got to set up a map, but they've made this really easy. Now, this is similar to other robotic mowers on the market. You're going to drive this thing around your yard, and you're setting up the perimeter of the area you want to mow. Now, when you first get this out of the box, I recommend you try it on a smaller area or just one part of your yard. If you go ahead and set the entire thing up, you might make a mistake and have to delete it, and then you're going to be really upset that you've got to redo all that work. You can actually set up up to 10 different zones or areas that you want to mow. That means you could have a front or a backyard even different sections, something like a pool area, and you can mow them on different schedules along with different settings that you might choose. As you're driving, you're bound to make a mistake. Now this app is really good. You can correct it, you can go backwards, and edit the map until you get it right. Once you've got the outer perimeter done, you'll want to set up any kind of no-go zones that you never want to try to mow. It might be a swimming pool or even something like this tree. This mulch bed is pretty much level with the lawn. So if I didn't program it, of course it would bump into the tree, but it might cut all of those flowers down. So I can easily go into this app, draw a circle with the mower, and now the mower will no longer try to go into that area. Now I can just hit start and I'm ready to mow. But you might notice it says 741 minutes. That seems like a ton of time to cut the grass. But I missed a really important feature before I press the start button. There are different modes that you can cut with. One is designed for super fast mowing, another one does fine cutting, and then there are different settings if you have really long grass so that it won't trip your sensors. As soon as I press start, the mower immediately took off out of the charging deck and it began doing its job. I didn't really know what to expect. It started moving around a little bit weird, but what it was doing was getting in position to do the outer perimeter. It's going to go around your yard between one and three times. That's actually a setting that you can pick. It does this deliberately so that when the mower makes turns, it's never going to miss cutting any of your grass. And if you weren't already aware, one of the best features of this mower is it doesn't just cut in random patterns. It will mow your lawn in straight lines. Normally when I use my regular mower, I can't get underneath these shrubs and I have to edge them with a weed whacker. With a robot, it's so small, I actually drew the map underneath, 
Within about a half an hour is really seeing some results. You can see those lines, they are razor sharp and dead on straight. Because remember, of course, it's a GPS controlling this mower. What happens when that battery runs out? Well, this mower will actually go back to the base. And once it's fully charged, it'll go back to the exact position that it left off. You should be aware that 2.8 inches is the maximum cutting height that the Luba can do. The cut quality from those dual decks was amazing. This was a pretty gloomy day and my lawn was looking fantastic. Now if you want to know what's going on, you can go in the app and see exactly where the mower is and if there are any problems with the cutting. Another feature about this Luba that was really impressive is it did not get stuck at all during the cutting. It did hit a couple of obstacle sticks that were on the lawn, but it detected them and drove around them. Now it did leave an area of grass that wasn't cut, but it was not a big deal. You'd notice it and you could get rid of the thing that was blocking it. The all-wheel drive system worked perfectly on this portion of my yard, but I wanted to see this thing perform on super steep slopes, ruts, holes, and other kinds of imperfections that could normally cause other robotic mowers to fail. And I've not mowed this lawn in a while, and it's nearly four inches, so I went ahead and set up a different zone with the map, and I immediately got the mower to work. Now the edge of this portion of my yard is a lot rougher because it borders the field, and again you'll see how handy this thing is if you've got a lot of shrubs or trees. You can have this thing go right up to the tree trunk, and this might save you some trimming action in the future. And now onto the slopes. These vary anywhere from about 28 degrees to almost 40 degrees. This is a real problem for any type of mower. But the all-wheel drive system in this Luba was working perfectly. This thing isn't out of control. It's just handling the map. It could go straight down, reverse, turn. It had no problems with traction at all. And you might also notice this isn't going straight up and down the incline. That's generally the safest way to handle a slope. This thing was going sideways. So if it was ever going to lose control, it definitely would be doing it now. When I drew this map, I extended it right to the edge of the field and it's even cutting a little bit of that tall grass. But in terms of the bumps, slopes, it had no problems at all. This mower did not get stuck a single time anywhere on my lot. That absolutely blew me away. As it finished the second area, I looked back and I was really impressed. The lawn looked excellent. So if you've got any type of slopes in your yard or imperfections that could cause a regular robot to fail, this all-wheel drive system in the Luba could really be a game changer. I also repeated mowing both areas again, but this time I changed it to a different mode called efficient cutting. That is a much higher speed and I could do my entire lawn in about three hours. It's been raining here for almost two weeks and I was dying to try this mower out. So I ran it on one of the rainy days and of course there was built up grass in the bottom of the deck. So when I saw it there, I decided to dig it out by hand and you can see the pile right next to the mower. But the next morning the grass was still damp and I ran Luba again. But by the end of mowing almost three and a half hours, the bottom of the deck was almost like brand new. And I have no idea how this happened. I did not clean this deck a second time. You can see a little bit of buildup, but it's almost like the dry grass scrubbed off the bottom. Luba is also water resistant, so you can hose the thing off, including the bottom. But the directions say that you should not tilt the mower completely on its back. I'd recommend following the directions, turn it on its side. You can hose off any debris that might be there. And finally, the negatives. What are the negatives for all these robotic mowers? Well, of course, they are all expensive, but Momotion did a pretty cool thing. They have three different versions of the Luba. So depending on the size of your yard, you're still pretty much getting the same functionality in all-wheel drive, but it can save you a little bit of money. I found the Luba to be fantastic, and it's definitely something I will continue to use in my yard because I've got those extreme slopes. So the bottom line for the Luba is this. The build quality was excellent. The quality of cut of my lawn was fantastic, and I didn't have any issues at all. And the only other thing to keep in mind is that the maximum cutting height is just 2.8 inches. Now that'll work fine for many different people, but there are some that want to cut up to 4 inches and that just isn't possible currently with this model. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.